Syria. I was asked uh, how should we fight racism. I said with progressive racism, we should adopt racism. They, they looked at me like, are you crazy? And I gave them my own example. No, sorry. <laughs> my own ex-country. Uh, don't you agree that there is a way to practice, I wouldn't say racist jokes, because precisely they are no longer racist, but take my own country. Till the 80s, in ex-Yugoslavia, we all the time exchanged dirty jokes about one and the other nation. And I loved them. And, but this didn't function as racist jokes, but as a kind of a shared obscenity, which meant a way of solidarity. Like, I remember, I met a Monte my classical story, sorry to repeat it. For example, I meet a guy from Montenegro. And again, as you know it from 10 times, uh, we immediately start to tell to each other dirty jokes about the other and about ourselves. Like, okay, I'm sorry if you know it, it's boring, but the standard Montenegro story, Montenegrans are supposed to be lazy and they are an earthquake, earthquake country. So, how does a Montenegro guy masturbate? He digs a hole in the earth, puts the penis in, and waits for the earthquake. Because he's too lazy even to... But what I want to say is that this we talked all the time, and it absolutely wasn't racism. It was solidarity. The message was, we are not just this, you know, called political correct. Oh, what nice food you have, what nice ethnic dances. I don't care about your stupid ethnic dances. I want dirty jokes, you know. I don't like this Santa Cruz, I was there, politically correct jokes. They told me, oh, we have better jokes. They are funny, but nobody is hurt. I asked them how. They told me, for example, what happens when a circle meets a triangle? I told them, uh, I don't care. I don't care what happens when, you know. But what I want to convince you is that it can function. It, it is absolutely not racism. It is shared solidarity. This is where, again, you see, this is what, what interests me. What interests me, this how even the struggle against can serve as means to, 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 to reproduce. But this is why my lifetime experience was meeting in Missoula, Montana, a Native American, so-called. He hated the name. And he was right. He told me, I absolutely prefer to be called Indian. He said, Native American is for me much more racist. Native American, haha, -ha, so you are cultural Americans? We are native part of nature. He said, if you call me Indian, at least my name is a monument to white man's stupidity, you know. <laughs> you know, Amerigo Vespucci thought that, you know. I mean, here, I think things have to change, change in some way. There is something so debilitating, immobilizing in all this. So again, only, I know I didn't answer your question, but you see along what lines I try to think. And what I